the uh, Dragon itself uh, is uh, moving to a point, as you can see in this downlink view from external cameras on the International Space Station, to a point uh, some 350 meters directly below the International Space Station uh, along what is called the radial vector or the R-bar. That's the imaginary line drawn between the space station and the center of the Earth. Dragon now has completed its yaw maneuver. We're expecting it uh, to depart the 350 meter hold point. The next uh, station keeping point would come at 250 meters. Uh, it's about an eight minute transit from 350 meters out to 250 meters out. And again, we'll keep you posted as uh, the SpaceX mission uh, ballistics team in Hawthorne, California continues uh, to compute uh, uh, how much time would be required at the various uh, stopping points, the uh, station keeping points, to see if we can make up time to approach the original grapple time uh, that was 6 a.m. Central, 7 a.m. Eastern. Flying 250 miles uh, over the uh, South Atlantic, uh, we just had a great view of the Dragon uh, cargo craft uh, before uh, losing uh, temporarily our downlink television capability from the International Space Station. Dragon uh, is approaching uh, the 30 meter arrival point, uh, should get there about uh, 20 minutes from now, at which time it'll put the brakes on one final time and permit uh, the flight control teams here in Houston and at SpaceX's control center in Hawthorne, California to take a final look-see at all of uh, Dragon systems before the final go is given to approach inside 30 meters and capture. Dragon continues uh, a flawless approach to its final station keeping point of 30 meters, should arrive there in about eight minutes from now the uh, distance uh, between Dragon and the International Space Station currently calculated at about 63 meters as uh, the station and the SpaceX cargo craft approach the uh, southwest coast of Africa. Dragon and the International Space Station now just 52 meters apart, approaching uh, the coast of Namibia, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. All of Dragon systems continue to operate perfectly, approaching the 30 meter station keeping point some five minutes from now. Dragon now 41 meters away from the International Space Station. Space ground two at 40 meters, I will call the vehicle on camera three, one with port. Dragon uh, will be parked uh, at the Earth-facing port of the Harmony module in a parking space uh, right next to the orbital ATK Cygnus cargo craft that arrived at the station back on March 26, two weeks ago. The Dragon cargo craft uh, launched on Friday afternoon from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida aboard uh, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Entered its uh, preliminary orbit about uh, 10 minutes after launch, deployed its solar arrays, and began uh, the trek toward the International Space Station. Bye. SpaceX is go for capture. The flight control team here is go for capture. Capture confirmed. 
at 6.23 a.m. Central Time over the Pacific Ocean west of Hawaii. A cornucopia of cargo craft now at the International Space Station. Capture again confirmed at 6.23 a.m. Central Time.